All right, so I think I got this working. So I replaced the capacitors in this unit and it seemed to have fixed it. Uh, this cap down here, uh, this little one is a, uh, let's see here, 10 microfarad at 50 volt. So I got a high temperature, high frequency cap. That's a 10 microfarad at uh, 50 volt. So anytime you replace a cap, you want to do a high temperature, high frequency. So these are slightly better. And then this big one here was this cheap one here. I think this was the real problem with it. It's a 100 microfarad at 200 volts. And I bumped that up to, to a, uh, yeah, 100 microfarad at 250. And then uh, these two guys here were both the same. They were 1,000 microfarad at 25 volts. And again, I bumped it up on these, 1,000 microfarad at 50, all high temp, high frequency caps, cheap off uh, eBay. So anyway, uh, this has had a flickering issue where it wouldn't power up and the fan would slowly turn sometimes. Sometimes it didn't move at all. And then the light on the front of the unit would flicker. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Well, there we go, green light. And push the button. Oh, if you look at that, I got myself a free little refrigerator. So, yeah, so I mean, a lot of people are just replacing these power supplies um, and spending a lot more money. Caps are cheap, and it's a common issue. Um, you know, this power supply is probably running on the edge of its life uh, to run that Peltier, but, um, you know, at least for now, it's got some good caps in. I got a bunch of spares if it goes out in a few years, and uh, hopefully it'll hold up. But yeah, there's no need to replace the whole power supply. Uh, if you have like a flickering issue with it, um, where it's like it's trying to power up, it doesn't have the juice to do it, always caps. Switching power supplies, capacitors, you know, back capacitors, they seem to go hand in hand. All right, so I thought I'd just show what it would take to do what's called a component level repair on the power supply of one of these refrigerators. It seems to be a common problem um, a lot of people are just replacing the power supply with something else or throwing the whole unit away. Um, component level repairs seem to be a lost art these days, so I thought I'd share how I fixed mine. And, you know, whenever you have that issue where, you know, the power comes up and then goes down, comes up, down, and does that, it probably means that there's leaky caps in the power supply. And the problem with these refrigerators is they draw so many amps, the, the Peltier you know, the thermal unit uh, draws so many amps and the power supply they put in them is so close to the power draw, you know, its limits are so close to the power draw of the Peltier unit that the smallest thing, you know, wears out in the power supply and it can no longer keep up. So when you see a fluctuation where it goes up and down like that, it usually means there's a cap that's getting leaky and, you know, it's it's a switching power supply, so it's very sensitive to the health of the capacitors. So in this case, it fools you because the cap doesn't look bad. And on top of that, you know, you get the pin on one of the caps, you know, uh, usually you see some, you know, gel or pus coming out of it. And then uh, on the top of the cap, the heat shrink tubing will normally come back if it's been overheated. Uh, you don't see any of that with these. They just, you know, they just get weak and if they just get a little weak, that's enough to, you know, for a power supply, they just can't keep up anymore. So uh, replacing the caps is cheap and easy. You know, you see these all over the place these days and it doesn't seem like anybody actually fixes the power supply, so I thought I'd show how to do it. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, those refrigerators use a lot of energy. Um, I bought one that looks like a big cooler uh, that uses a compressor uh, type system. And that unit uh, uses just a little bit more energy than that little guy does. It only holds four cans of uh, soda, and I think my cooler holds like 36. So they're terribly inefficient anyway, but um, so I guess that's about it. Um, 
been running overnight. It's working great. Oh yeah. Orange top monsters in my own fridge in my office. Oh, it's running a little too cold. It's a little frosty in there. Yeah, you get a little bit of that slush to it. That's really good. So there you go. That's all it takes. Hopefully you have better luck uh, repairing yours. Um, you know, where you don't have to you know, replace the whole power supply or throw the whole unit away. It just seems wasteful. So uh, good luck out there and uh, thanks for watching.